any of you been able to generate the square wave from uh, the ADALM kit and drive the counter? Not from ADALM, but we are able to generate sir, from triple five counter. Triple five, no? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, fine. Now, uh, Sorry, I, 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 I cannot hear the person who's trying to talk. Prabhanjan Kumar, I think you're trying to talk, but I cannot hear you at all. Hmm. No, I cannot hear you, Prabhanjan. Okay, uh, Prabhanjan, can you go on mute? Okay. Uh, now let me start with a couple of them. Uh, Venkata Subhash. Unmute. Yes, sir. How did, you, how did you try to generate the square wave from the ADALM kit? Thousand. Uh, sir, uh, I have just, uh, I mean, generally I have just put it at square wave mode and uh, I tried okay. to generate. Are some, you, uh, do you have the laptop open now? Is your kit connected? Uh, yes, sir. Can you, can you share your screen? Yes, sir. In a minute. Please do that. Yeah. Ah, is your kid connected? Uh, yes, sir. It's connected. Okay. Generate the square wave. Uh, yes, sir. Mm. Generate the square wave. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Yeah, the frequency has set to 10 hertz. Okay, so why is the thing not okay? Go to the setting. Uh, yes, yeah, sample time. Uh, remove that repeated sweep, unselect that. Ah, okay. So, hmm. the first thing is uh, can you also uh, zoom out of the axis, time axis? Zoom out. Zoom out or zoom in, sir? Zoom out. In the sense? Zoom, just like make it smaller. Pinch it smaller. Uh, yes. I think I have to increase the sample time. Hmm. Okay. So finally, okay. So the first thing is, all of you should notice Please make sure that you uncheck this option. Okay. That sweep option. Okay. That was one of the reasons why you were getting something erratic. Okay. This was just, this is one of the reasons, by the way. Sorry. What did you just do now? Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. Ah, sorry. What did you do? Actually, I have been connecting my circuit and by mistake, I have connected the probes in opposite. Ah, okay. Okay. So, okay. So the first thing, like I said, that repeated sweep you have to remove. Okay. Second, please watch the current coming out of this thing, right? This is going to a, this is a square wave that is going to the input of a logic gate. Correct? Yes, sir. 
so the current cannot go high if the current goes high there is a problem okay right yes sir so now what i want you to do is the following okay so do you have the circuit where you have the counter co connected uh, yes sir i have it uh, right away with me okay can you connect this uh, square wave to the clock uh, uh, pin number 2 of the 74163 uh, yes sir hmm this my video one second yeah yeah i hope my circuit is visible yes it is visible Okay, I'm going to. Uh, okay, can you stop sharing the screen? I want to see your video properly now. Oh, I see. Okay, we'll come back to this a little later. Ah, now you are 74163. Where is 74163? Yeah, this is my 74. Ah, pin number two. Please connect the square wave. One second, sir. I'll set up my video in proper way. Yeah, yeah. Please, please do that. Yeah. Uh, Professor, can I ask some question? Yes, please. Uh, Professor, this uh, I wanted to uh, derive some state equation for this counter as well. Yeah. And for each each pin, so I mean, uh, not able to do it completely. Uh, no, so what, can you suggest something? No. What do you mean by your? You want to derive the state equation means what is it? This is. I mean, uh, yeah. So what will be the output with the uh, clock? I mean, the on the manual uh, manually you wanted to check for then go for the experiment. So yeah, since yeah. So we are. Yeah. yeah, so basically this will start with 0, 0, 0 and then go all the way to uh, this thing, no? Uh, no, but as per the data sheet, it is saying it will start from the 12, then 13 and uh, 14 and 15, then it will uh -huh. go to 0 and 1, 2, 3, then again uh, it will okay. it will run in, in this fashion, yeah. Okay, one second. So It is starting from 12, not from the 15, uh, 0. Okay, wait, I want to understand first of all... Um, Okay, what are your other pin connections, by the way? Uh, ABC, Professor, it is open and uh, clear load and uh, uh, there are two pin, uh, ENT and ENP. It is high. Clear and, and yeah, low clear. are both high, is it? Yes, yes. Okay. And as per the manual also, it is showing high only. You have to keep high for the counting uh, condition. Correct, correct. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so ENT and ENT is high, high professor. I'm keeping it higher. Yeah. High. Okay. Okay. And professor, I noticed that all the LEDs at some point is not growing together. So I think the state of 15 is not reaching during. Uh, no, no. Uh, we'll, I, we'll come step by step. Wait. That's why I yeah. want to see if that Venkata Subhash is able to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, now I hope. Uh, ah, okay. So you have, uh, can you connect the clock to pin? Yes, sir. Uh, I have connected the clock from my video. I have already connected my clock, sir, from my video. Hello. Venkat, can you hear me? Yeah, sir. Now we are audible. Ah, which is your 74163? Oh, this is my 74163, sir. Okay. So, you have, connect, have you connected this clock yeah, to pin number 2? Yes, yeah, sir. Please set the frequency to 1 hertz. One second, sir. I will just set it. Hmm. Done. Done? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. What is happening on the LEDs? Uh, for some reason, only the second bit, uh, the two, I mean, second bit is blinking. Okay. What are the other connections that you have made on this 74163? 
Tell me uh, pin by pin. Ah. Yes. Uh, pin number one, it is connected to VCC. Okay. Uh, then pin number two, the clock pin. Yes. Uh, pin number three, four, five, six are left. Uh, like, you know, because they are set to zero. Okay. Uh. And then pin number seven to VCC, pin number eight to ground. Yes. Pin number nine to VCC. Okay. And pin number 10 to VCC. Yeah. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14 are the output pins. Yeah. And then pin number 15 is the terminal count pin and 16 is again VCC. VCC. Okay, fine. Okay. Right. Now, so what is happening is your, out, your clock does not seem to be all right. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I mean, it's uh, all right for, for some extent, but I don't know the reason why this particular yeah, yeah, but, is not turning on. Basically, it's not going through all the states. Simple. Yeah, sir. It is skipping Simple. one state. Uh, good. Now share your screen. Yeah. Share your screen. Yes. Oh, yes. I want to see. Uh, uh, okay, now you take take your QA and give it to channel B. QA. Yeah, just see what is coming out of that. QA in the sense. Output, output pin, pin number. Uh, I'll tell you. Okay, you are, you are telling the LSB of the output. Correct. Ah. That is pin number 14. Give it to the. Uh, the LSB is pin number 14. Yes, Correct. Channel. Pin number 14. Yeah. Oh, it's ah. skipping a bit. It's skipping a bit. Okay, there is some problem, correct? Yes, sir. Not only that, you see the output. It is not even 5 volts. Mm -hmm. 3 volts. Correct. So, yes. clearly there is a problem. Okay. Now, tell me, the your ADALM kit has been connected to which USB connection? USB, this is normal USB itself. Where, where? Uh, to my laptop. To your laptop? Yeah. Is the laptop connected to power? Yes, it's connected to power. Can I unplug it? Will your laptop work without power? Yes, yes, it works fine. Unplug it? Yes, done. Uh, now some other state on my circuit, I'm observing some other state on this. Sorry? Ah. Yeah, now only MSB and LSB are turning on. Okay, now can you unplug your USB and reconnect this whole thing? Yes. I want you to reset this kit. Uh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Connect again and then give the input voltage. Yeah. One hertz. Um, no, again, no, no, again, setting. Can you go to that uh, repeated switch? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that is okay. No, no, I unset that. Unset that. Ah. Yeah, turned off. Ah. Now, some other weird behavior. Okay. Now you are still seeing this thing going. Okay. So, uh, okay, so what you need, so all of you, first of all, I want you to try this, okay? Uh, so the point is, we are, uh, myself and Aditya were debugging this issue, okay? And thanks to Aditya's father also, we have, we have, we think we have some headway, okay? We have to check now, uh, but before that, can you actually uh, see the first thing to do is these LEDs, right?
can you disconnect the leds now can you remove the leds from the breadboard four leds four leds remove yeah yes. yeah i have removed them all four right yes yes sir uh see now it seems to be better so the thing is can you now check qa qb qc and qd on this guy yeah now it's qa ha uh, now probe qb mm, yes it's qb uh qb yes see this guy is not all right yeah okay qc this qc uh, which is also not good. same problem qd yeah qd qd just have connected yeah qd i'm getting some continuous print no yeah i think this seems okay can you uh, can you not zoom out on your thing zoom out in the thing sir no no can you not zoom zoom out on the time axis uh, just adjusting the sampling time no 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 not adjusting the sampling time hmm. adjusting the uh, this thing uh, what do you call the uh, this axis no no x axis i don't know that can be done only by swiping is it uh, oh no just keep the cursor in middle and uh, uh, move the middle uh, button uh, roll the middle button ah, yeah. yeah 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 this is the highest i can zoom out this is the best you can zoom out is it yeah yeah where okay. when the sampling See. time is 1 second okay so first of all there is clearly a problem somewhere in your counter so when you give the triple five timer input to this does it work yeah it is working fine sir shall i show it can you show me ah yes just a minute show me that let me just come uh professor this kit has a uh, digital pin also four digital pin uh, but we don't know how to configure it uh, they have given for uh, using with python or some other software yeah 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 i know one second one second wait so show me show me qa qb qc qd again yeah uh, actually first you show me clock the clock that is generated from triple yeah. 5 show yeah, me yeah. on channel channel a Okay, this is the clock. Uh, the LED is blinking. I'll show it on channel B. No, channel B. No, no, on channel A. Forget. Okay, channel, okay. channel B. I'm not. I'm not worried. About, channel A. I'm not worried about the clock generated now. Okay. Uh, sir. Hello. Yeah. Uh, sir i noticed one thing when i when i had done the same experiment so when i connected triple uh, 5 timer clock to uh, our counter and probed also probed the clock with channel a uh, some interference was going on channel a should not interfere with any thing we measure from yes professor i have done in the sense in the sense when i connected the whole circuit with 555 timer i see yeah yeah this is my then timer i probe also while it was running i probed channel a channel a to the clock of the 555 i see while it was running fine yeah then after i probed with channel a uh, the output and the waveform was, was all uh, uh, erratic No, no, no. That might be because see, you must change this channel A to become a measure place to to measure and not okay. source. Otherwise, okay. the, otherwise you will be sending one clock from here and the triple five will be driving another clock. Okay. Okay. So if you notice, he changed that right now. When he, on channel A, can you just click on that Venkat uh, Venkat again? Yes. Ah, uh, you have to make it measure voltage. Yeah, yeah. I made it measure voltage only. No, then you should not see any problem. No, but uh, I would suggest Venkat to try the same thing after he connects the five 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 and uh, the clock runs fine. Then he probe yeah, the is... channel a while it is running again. That's what he is doing. This is what I am doing right now. That's what he is doing now. 
Yeah. Okay. Now show me Q A, Q B, Q C, Q D. Ah. Uh, using channel B. I mean channel B, right, sir? In channel B, yes. Okay. Now I have to give this. See, why is why is your clock only three point five volt there? Ah, uh, sir, I have. I'm even running an LED uh, on the same room. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. There is some problem. You you guys are drawing some current, which is causing a serious issue. Now, if I disconnect the LED, I'm getting around four point five volts. Four point four. No, no, no. That's what I'm trying to say. Somewhere you are doing something wrong. Okay. So what I would say is, uh, forget. Uh, See, so where are you connecting the LEDs to? Which LED, sir? This this LED, uh, I'm connecting to indicate my pulse. No, no, that's okay, but it is connected where to Q A Q B C Q D, is it? No, sir, it's connected in the timer itself. To the timer. Yeah, timer the output clock to clock to, uh, to so, examine the timer. You mean the triple five timer output? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, don't do that. The triple five cannot yeah. drive so much current. Yes, That's sir, now, I removed it. now I have removed it. I am getting around 4.4 volts. But again, why 4.4 volt? Why not 5 volt? Mm, What's yeah, supply to triple 5? I have supplying and 5 volts. No, you should get 5 volts then. Why are you getting mm -hmm. something uh, lesser? I guess I am using some wrong resistors. Yeah, something. No, no, no. I don't think it's some wrong resistor. Some connection is wrong. Oh, one second. Sir. See, my, my point, guys, you cannot be making claims like this. That I tried with triple five, it's working. What do you mean by working? Logically, it works. Just because the LED glows, it works. What is the voltage? What is the current? How much of current is drawn from the supply? I need to know all this. See, if you if you are connecting four LEDs, the LEDs will draw certain current. Okay, it is okay if the current is in that range, but if the if the current is not in that range, you will be drawing current from some other IC. Okay, the current meant for some other IC, you will be drawing into this. And therefore, the whole thing will malfunction. Okay, so the fact of the matter is, none of these circuits for you are working exactly as they should. Okay, so my, my suggestion... Sir, sorry? Sir, I tried another thing. I, uh, I instead of uh, placing these LEDs, I... Tried uh, uh, using the seven using the LEDs of the seven segment display. No, no, but no. The, uh, no, 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 guys, you are completely missing my point. The LEDs, the reason I have not see no, if no. I wanted you to test with LEDs, I would have made you drive the LEDs directly. You no, know? why no, am no. I? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what I did uh, was uh, because the seven segment display. Uh, as a anode and four cathodes, so you have to connect the cathodes to the. So I did what I did. I passed the uh, QA, QB, QC, QD to a NAND gate IC, and then from that NAND gate IC, I drove that seven segment display. Uh, uh, QA, QB, QC, QD. Yeah. So then the output. Then uh, there should not be any current drawn from the. Uh, this counter IC instead the current should be drawn from the NAND gate IC but uh, then also the output was the same that's what I am trying to tell you that don't connect LEDs now please look at the square wave waveforms that you are giving please look at the clock okay first if you are using triple five look at the clock okay then you look at QA QB QC QD okay and also Please connect a multimeter between the 5 volt and the breadboard and configure the multimeter in the ammeter mode. Do you understand my point? I want you to record how much of current is being drawn from the supply. Do you understand this? Yes, sir. Okay, so I don't want to see such things. See, for me, this itself is wrong. 4.4 volt is wrong. Something is not all right. And Professor, this width of the 0 and 1 is also not same actually, equal. That, is, that will not be the same because that depends on the duty cycle and the resistors and capacitors that have been chosen. Which yeah, is but generally clock will have same, no, Professor? We are no, not no, 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 no. But in triple 5, it is very difficult to generate like that. 
in okay why you will only generate a duty cycle which is not 50% which is okay the on and the off cycle will be different times which is perfectly fine actually a clock need not be symmetric need not have 50% duty see you what matters for us is the rising edge ah what matters is the sampling edge or the rise and in this case the rising edge as long as that comes i don't care where the falling edge falls comes okay do you understand so that's why i am saying you must be very careful when you are doing such experiments it is not about just working right so first first thing that i have confirmed with aditya okay the ad alm kit is putting out the correct waveform okay now how did we verify this how did we verify this we basically you know i asked aditya to simply connect a 7404 ic okay which is coming which is a separate ic sitting on a different breadboard not even you know with any of these counters nothing there is only 7404 there he connected vcc ground input and we checked the output square wave okay the inverter was working correctly the input square wave was correct output square wave was inverted it was again correct the current drawn from channel a was zero nearly zero okay likewise i want you to measure the current on channel from the power supply also from the 5 volt of the ad alm kit right this will tell you whether the ad alm kit is putting out a correct square wave or not right okay now beyond this i think there is some real connection problem in these circuits that you have made that's why it is behaving like this you know the triple five is giving some you know erratic output it's not clear okay we so at least today morning aditya had tried one experiment where you know he connected uh, where he removed the power of his uh, you know the um, you know he he basically connected it to a usb port which was powered by a battery instead of an smps that is he removed the power connection okay and that seemed to show the correct functioning of the counter in the morning okay but we are yet to repeat this and make sure that that is that is the cause right uh, sir i don't think that should be the cause because i am doing with the desktop no desktop will also have the same problem because you are coming through an smps you understand yes so, so if there is a power if, if there is some power supply noise on that right then you have to be very careful so basically what you have done was you have powered the adlm or some and you have powered the power source using a battery correct yeah that's all hmm. okay so the so, vcc so the vcc should be powered by some battery and ground should be shorted with the adlm vcc connect Okay. okay no 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 I, the, okay there are two ways to do it one is you can connect the power source itself to a battery separate battery other thing is to connect the ad alm usb itself to mm -hmm. a port which is driven by a battery rather than a port which is driven by a power supply no but That's then the we will lose the, the functionality of the oscilloscope na yeah. sorry we will lose the functionality of the oscilloscope then No, no. Why? Because we will not uh, have data lines running through our computer. No, 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 no. I am saying no, no. So, okay. So my point was, if you have a laptop, you should just take the power sub the uh, power supply off. That's all. You, 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 you get my point, right? Just disconnect the power source of the laptop. Yeah. Then it will run off the battery. Yeah. Okay, but the battery should be well charged. Yeah. Okay, it should be like above ninety percent. You should not try this with ten percent battery because then the battery can behave erratically again. Mm. Okay, this is one thing, right? So bottom line is, I am in the process of debugging this with Aditya. Okay, 
in his case there was some extra current okay so i will tell you what i want all of you to do now right take off all these circuits right remove leds remove every single thing that you have done okay so last time when you tried to you you connected the counter were you able to get the output correctly yes ha huh? yes, yes sir sir. with the 555 that means okay so that means last time when the counter alone was connected it worked yeah okay were you able to see qa qb qc qd yeah, yeah. with the led itself i am able to see with led ah, actually my point please don't work with leds now okay because they consume a lot of current okay mm -hmm. i don't want you this is what i have been trying to say work only with the clock signals so what did i tell you i said the counter must drive the comparator yeah okay four bits of the comparator yeah then you are going to take and look at the, you are going to look at the output of the full adder correct yes yes bro where the uh, s3 s2 s1 s0 and the carry out you are going to look at yeah i want you to just probe those signals and see if it is correct yeah no led nothing yeah even in the video you haven't used any led but you alone used an multimeter exactly that's all i want you to do that's why i want you i am i am saving you the trouble of going through all 16 combinations manually by connecting it to a counter that's all do you follow what i am saying yes, sir. Uh, sir these sir. adders and comparators uh, are to be done in week 5 right yeah but right now what we are trying to debug is the week 4 uh, experiment which is basic counter operation san 4163 sir actually if we if we just uh, uh, not connect qa qb qc qd to anything and just probe the uh, lsb two lsb bits of the uh, yeah, counter to the oscilloscope then we should get uh, the correct output but uh, i tried it it's not correct no but you have already connected this to a comparator to a full adder and so on no 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 nothing nothing was connected only the no, they haven't connected no that's what i asked you right the previous experiment when you just connected the counter did you yeah. get the correct output yeah sir yeah ah that's what i am saying so if you have not got that there is some problem i am getting ah people are getting that that's what i am trying to say actually this uh, this comparator i haven't uh, got any power supply connected to it i have just kept it on breadboard that see that's what i'm saying this is very confusing what i need you to do is to do it step by step yeah okay connect the counter mm -hmm. connect the comparator mm -hmm. connect the full adder mm -hmm. okay sir? yeah can i sir yeah uh i i have been trying uh, the same thing that you have been doing like a bare minimal circuit uh, no leds nothing uh, i was checking uh, the uh, qa qb qc what one more thing i noticed was that uh, wire that goes um, from the adlm channel b to this thing that has some loose contact okay so, so once in a while it the wave the output waves comes correctly and once in a while it doesn't come so if you manually kind of uh, manipulate that wire you can see the some noise sometimes coming with the correct uh, this thing um you get my point right hello hello can you hear me seems like a uh, network issue for professor just
Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Who, who was speaking before this? I lost. I lost my connection. Huh? Gayatri, is it? Sorry, Gayatri, can you hear me? What is happening? What is happening? Are you able to hear me there? Huh? Yeah. Hello, Gayatri, are you there? Okay, maybe she is not on the call. Sir, okay. Your voice is clear, sir. Huh. Okay, okay, great, great. Okay. So, right. Now, Okay, uh, I don't know what what was Gayatri saying. Uh, she was telling like there is some loose connection between channel B uh, on the idea limit and between the buyer. Lo loose connection between the channel B and the breadboard. I mean, I mean yeah, the pin pin out of the on idea limb and the zumper wires. Okay, I think yeah, that is one thing. But I think see my my main concern is actually all these currents. Uh, oh, okay, by the way, uh, Venkat, yeah. how much of battery do you have on your laptop? Uh, actually, it's around 40%. But okay. it works good. Uh, till it goes till 20%, it works good. Okay, so my, my suggestion is, uh, you know, when you plugged out this uh, charger, how much of charge was there? Uh, it was around uh, 50%. 50, okay. Just do one thing, re recharge it fully to 100% and then try connecting the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just want to make, I want to see, I have asked Aditya also to do that. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. So I am basically, uh, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm in the process of debugging this with Aditya. Mm -hmm. Like, like I said, Aditya's father also helped with some pointers. So thanks to him. Uh, but I would like to wait before I, declare victory. Okay. I need to make sure that everything is consistent. And when I say everything is consistent, I mean the current should be correct. The voltages should be correct. Everything should be correct. Only then I can say that the uh, circuit is working properly. It's not sufficient if the LEDs just glow and everything seems to work correctly. Okay. Yeah. Aditya. Uh, actually, sir, uh, I just, uh... Uh, connected the clock using the Edlang 1000 kit and check the output using my multimeter. Yeah. And the clock is giving the correct output. But uh, when I just check the QA, QB, the, there the output is not correct using the multimeter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, but multimeter, <laughs> how are you measuring with a multimeter? For, uh, I'm connecting the uh, red probe to the clock and uh, the black probe to the ground. The channel A, uh, multi, uh, the channel A of Adlam, I am generating the clock and uh, measuring the output using the multi voltage. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Can you? Yes, sir. Now you are. Yes, sir. Now, yeah. Sorry, sir. Sorry. 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 Yes. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Good. So uh, now, so what I want all of you to do, right, is to go back, go step by step. First, first, I want to make sure that your counter is correct. You are getting the output bits from the counter correctly. Okay. Now I have no problem if you try this experiment with triple five also, but again, triple five voltage swing should be correct. Okay. I okay, want sir. all these things yeah. to be correct. Sorry. Tell me. Uh, nothing. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Me. Now 
you get the counter correct right after this you connect it to the comparator okay and actually you can simply check the output of the comparator first even before you connect the adder do you mean counter no 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 i meant uh, the output of the uh, so the comparator output is going to a full adder right uh, where sir in this particular experiment yeah yeah in this oh, here we are not using any comparator we are only using direct uh, 74 ls163 that's the counter no 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 but the no no you are talking of which experiment yes, are you sir. talking of the counter output or are you talking of the uh, cd <laughs> to 7 segment i mean the no, cd output, output uh, counter output only you are talking of the counter output yeah till now uh, the discussion is uh, all about that so no, no but Okay, so we have we have not finished the counter itself because in that ah. only yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Then yeah. basically, I want you to first connect the counter alone. Okay, on yeah. a single breadboard. Remove everything else. No LED, nothing. No. Okay, and just probe the clocks. Okay, and tell me if you are getting everything correctly. Okay, the the issue is if there is some. sorry uh, professor this counter is but counting from 12 we starting from 12 to 13 how to make it say really from 0 to 15 so you have to do some clearing and all that stuff and then start see as long as it cycles through it's okay see this yes, is the time diagram in the data sheet it is going from 12 uh, professor yeah yeah so i am saying it is okay uh, it's okay to sort of uh, you know come from anywhere as long as you're going through all the 16 states and uh, the down counting can we use inverter for that down counting no no this down counting i think that you should be able to okay you can use in forget about down counting just get the up counting right first because in this there is no pin to configure in the down counting yeah, yeah. we thought so to forget forget about down counting just focus on up counting okay Okay, and uh, and professor, last thing, can we uh, have some connection with the theory portion of the counter, like ex, uh, I mean the state equation, a state table, and then to understand output and everything, in line with that. No, that is there. No, I I have done it. I have yeah. done it. And in week twelve, I have also done it. Actually, in week twelve, I am doing it. Some more counter stuff I am doing, but counter I had done. No, the T flip flop yes. thing I have done, isn't it? No, in combination circuits, it can be also. But for data. this logic diagram, professor is very complicated. Looks to uh, looking. I mean, no. Why is it uh, looking complicated? You just have to work out the logic. No. <clears throat> anyway, I'll I'll come to that later because first thing we have to fix the practical thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So please get this counter thing. No LEDs. Just focus on the pins and see. and make sure that the currents are also okay between the 5 volt connection of the ad alm kit and the breadboard please connect a multimeter and configure it in ammeter mode yeah okay i want to see how much current is coming out of the supply because i am suspecting somewhere there is a short okay yes sir yeah uh so professor one more thing Yes, uh, it would be great if we can get some lab manual what to do and what not to do while performing the experiments because we are very new for these things. Uh, well, there is nothing major in terms of what to do, what not to do. I have to, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Maybe we will develop this in the process of doing this lab. Yeah. Okay. Because I am since it's all remote, I am not seeing what you are doing. Okay, but in the process of debugging this, I'm hoping to like document all of this properly. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Yes. So, uh, don't worry. We will be meeting regularly again. I will meet you on Monday. Okay, and I am going to continue to debug this with uh, Aditya and maybe Venkat also now. Okay, I'd like to make sure two of them are getting it correctly, right? 
and then we will uh, i will uh, make sure that all of you can also get it done correctly okay yes. so aditya do you have any update yes, now professor uh Yes, sir. so professor, uh, after the Windows Surface which I'm using, it reaches a hundred percent. I'll perform the experiment on an isolated counter on a okay. board, and I'll report it to you, sir. Okay, fine. Yeah, uh, professor. Yeah, yeah. I have done all whatever you have said already, and uh, what I have suspected is basically sixty hertz uh, parasitics from the AC main AC. Because I have done the uh, use the LLM and Arduino at the same time isolated without LEDs nothing, and LLM have a lot of ripple, and I like if I place my hand on the AC port, then the ripple is uh, increasing heavily. So I uh, just uh, used a battery and the ripple is less, still more than the uh, Arduino one. So what you have to do is you have to put a capacitor in there, so it will be stabilized, and you have to also increase the frequency to at least ten hertz. because lower right. than that uh, it is not working as i intended like it's blinking and it's like resetting at the same time right i understand so actually this is what i was debugging with aditya saying i had asked him to put a capacitor between the supply and ground okay yes sir but we will uh, remove the flicker correct so this is what we were expecting that there is some noise on the power supply which is causing this problem Uh, actually sir also you said about some residual current uh, from the adlem yeah i checked the entire da data set uh, of the adlem and uh, like the in, even the board design so like yeah. 200 uh, milliamps is like normal so it will be sourcing or sinking that current at normally uh, so in order to uh, actually probe the signals so no, no, we no. are putting something that is not supposed funny. to be calibrated that is not my point i am not saying that the ada lmp cannot source current what i am asking is where is the current going uh, professor i may have uh, a discovery to report yes um i seem to have like managed to get it working like sometimes mm. like, for some reason the signal is correct like simply with a counter in the ada lmp kit but still it is like a Uh, 3.5 volts, and I've yeah. connected a multimeter to it, and it is not showing any current, even at a uh, 200 micro amperes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, if uh, may I just may I share my screen? Yes. Uh, please do. Please do. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Professor. Uh, Just out so, of curiosity, yeah, uh, I mean, this is the. Screen. Do you have access to this kit? Sorry, uh, I mean, uh, do you have access to this kit uh, with you? I have it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yes. No, my problem is I do not know what else you guys are doing. You understand? So you are able to get the desired output. See, we we first first thing when you said that you know the. Uh, the uh, uh, voltage yeah, was ADLM was not giving a continuous output. Yeah. Right. So we I went to Professor Bobby uh, Bobby's office and we connected the ADLM output to a to a regular oscilloscope. Hmm. Okay, and we saw what you were saying. That's hmm. why we I, I said that that option of repeated sweep must be unchecked. Okay. Okay. Once we did that, it became all right. We saw a continuous output, no problem. Okay. Okay, now yeah. I am. So the next step is whoever is in Chennai, right? Yeah. They can come to me with their board, and we can basically. Uh, Professor, uh, for for your information, actually there are few ES students uh, who are doing this lab course on campus itself. I know, I know. That's what. That is my next step. Okay, yeah. but I also want to debug with some people who are remote before yeah. I actually yes. put my hand on the kit here. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Because I want to see is it possible to debug like that. That's all. Yeah, then it would be more effective. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, professor, I have uh, also shared my. Yeah. Uh, Udar board. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Can others please go on mute? Uh, yes, sir. So as you can see, like uh, this is the connection that I made. I have uh, 
tried connecting everything properly here hmm. and uh, i'm not getting any output on the multimeter despite uh, it being on 200 milliamps sorry who is speaking now uh, subhashish sir okay and are you uh, uh, showing a video i can only see your screen uh, i am sir but it is from uh, my phone so it no i don't see anything yes sir i am um, if i stop the screen it may share it may yeah. no i still cannot see anything uh, just give me a second sir Uh, now it may show sir. yeah mm. yes sir so uh, this is uh, basically the output that I'm yeah mm. at uh, 200 um, microamps yeah and this is how it's connected mm. okay um, basically i've connected a uh, one probe where i'm measuring the output wave from uh, the okay. channel beef hmm. and the other to ground. Okay. Hmm. And uh, this is the waveform that I'm getting. This is for which output pin? Uh, for uh, the second output pin. Pin number 15, is it? Yes. Uh, no, sir. Pin 13. 13. Okay. Fine. Hmm. Uh, okay. I understand. Uh, see that. That voltage there, something is not correct. Yes, right? It's uh, only coming out to around 3.5 max. Yeah, and uh, there's also a jump. The yes, voltage, sir. Right? Something is not correct. That's what I'm saying. There's something which is definitely not correct here. And therefore, I'm going to just, uh, you know, so have you added any capacitor on the uh, this thing? No, sir. This is bare bones. Okay. So I think that is one thing that you can try. Right. If there is a if it's a question of ripple that's coming out of this, uh, you know the uh, ADALM kit sub power supply. Okay, then it may be okay to sort of put a this thing. So how, how much was this ripple? Do you know? Um, I do not know, sir. So how did you measure the ripple, sir? For me, the ripple was uh, roughly zero point six volts. Plus zero, zero point six volts. Yes, actually, sir. Uh, sometimes the AC ripple can go as much as three volts. I also saw that in the Adlam kit, but this was a bit tame. I use a uh, uh, decoupling on it. Cone went only zero point six, big to big. So like plus uh, point three, minus point three, like that. That's a lot. Yes, sir. So like uh, I have basically ditched the uh, Adlam. I'm using Arduino for everything. For signal generation so far right now okay so you're doing this thing no no so i think the idea is to sort of debug this properly right i think we are missing something in terms of where to connect how to connect and maybe we should be putting some capacitors okay so that is what i am now experimenting with aditya okay and Can you share my screen for a minute yes yes gayatri please share your screen yes so, sir by the way i have tested without bare bone circuit and I am getting the QA as uh, properly as intended. Okay. Ah, yes, Gayatri. Can I see? Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. This is uh, I get the output from the terminal count output. Ah, okay. Ah. So that is fine. That matches exactly which with the input. No, no, but unfortunately, that is still not five volts. Um, that's like some four point something. No, no, that's what I'm saying. That is worrisome for me. Oh, okay. Because that indicates there's something wrong, right? It might be the power supply. It might be something. We have to figure this out. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But it's still within the like margin, like uh, there are VCC margin and output margin is also four point two volts. From five to four point two volts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So what I don't remember here, for example, uh, mm, what was the uh, output we got here? Okay. So I will check that and get back to you. Yes, sir. So by the way, uh, I am not getting the signal out from the other 
it's so I'm going only getting LSB, which is in sync. The rest of there, it is there. It is sinking current, which is not uh, going high. It is going low because uh, I can see the current draw is there when it's going low in the no, no. like channel B. I know that's why that's why uh, I think it is important for us. Uh, sir, I checked the current ampere. The IC draws around 1.5 million, uh, 15 milliamps when nothing is connected. Ah, hello, sorry. Can you hear me? Hello, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I was just saying that uh, just give me some more time. I will uh, debug this and get back to you with a more sure shot result of what to do, right? Uh, so I will uh, definitely, you know, get back uh, because I want to be absolutely sure. See, Aditya got it working once, but I want it to be repeatable. Okay, I want to give you the solution and also understand why it failed. Okay, that's the point. Right, so just give me some time. As soon as I am done, we'll do it. Worst case, by Monday. In the meeting on Monday, I will have the solution ready for you. Okay. I So, so I... I sorry? Sir, can I share my screen? Yeah. Uh, wait a So you may continue. I I am having problem sharing the screen. Okay. I will... No, no, no. I am I am done with what I wanted to say. Okay. So uh, I will I will get back to you with our findings. Okay. And uh, hopefully by if something is there tomorrow I will share it with you. Otherwise by Monday I will definitely have the solution ready for you. Okay. So professor, shall we do the experiment counter one? I mean meantime or. No, you can. So if you have got that working on triple five, please go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Then thank uh, you. But mean? please look for the currents. Yes, yeah, sir. This is the current. Yeah. Uh, sir, it's drawing about uh, uh, 14, 15 milliamps. Ah, we should again make sure. So do you have an LED connected? Nothing, sir. This is the, this is the counter IC. Yeah. And uh, yeah. this is the DLM kit. And uh, I have connected the kit, uh, uh, the kit not direct, not directly to the IC, but uh, uh, in between I have attached the multimeter. Sure, sure, yeah. Okay. So, this 15 milliamps also seems a little high to me. Okay. I don't understand why the IC should draw that much current. Okay. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'll get back to you. Yeah. But it oh. seems to be within the specs of the IC, is it? Uh, yeah, because the maximum is, uh, uh, I think uh, it's here mentioned as 100 milliamps if all outputs are low and uh, around 60, like typically 60. If all so outputs if are high, to, if I try to probe the QA, I am. Not getting anything. Okay. No, no. Like I said, I will, I will, uh, you know, I will, uh, I, I will, I will get back to you on this. Okay. Just give me some time. I will be looking at Aditya's thing and also maybe the Chennai people here. I'll be looking at their kit in greater detail. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, so, Professor, I think we are pretty close to it and we will definitely make it, make sure that it will be repeatable for everybody here.
Hello. Yes, yes professor. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I get what I was saying was that uh, we are, yeah, we are pretty close to getting the actual thing done here. So we'll make sure that it will be repeatable for everybody here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Thank you, Aditya. Yeah. Okay. So thank you all. I will keep you posted. Okay. Worst case, I'll see you on Monday. Uh, sir. Yes. Sir, so I did this counter experiment. Uh, so, sir, I realized that it was reading all the even numbers from 0 to 14 in steps yeah. of 2. Uh, and then it uh, when you power it off, uh, then it goes into another state. Sir, so I realized that uh, I, there's a problem with synchronous counters. Like, they, uh, like you have to define the state, the initial state or something, whilst they go into their own set of loops which are not uh, in, in desired undesired states and they loop there yeah it seems like that was a... yeah anyway i will i will i will yeah i will debug this and get back to you okay yeah akash okay sir okay, sir. okay right thank you all then okay see you around bye uh, sir sir one thing yes uh, sir i also live uh, near chennai so uh, can you just convey means uh, when uh, do you conduct the things uh, that, no, no, no. like in the meeting like no, no, you, you say that you will discuss something uh, no 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 there are, there are some people on campus who are here for something and doing ah. it here i may just contact yes sir oh. okay yeah okay sir yeah okay Shala. thank you okay yeah okay yeah thank you, thank you professor Uh, one thing to mention, whoever sharing the screen, you haven't connected your reset pin to BCC so that you are not getting any output. Uh, uh, you mean the reset pin to VCC? Yeah. It's an active low pin. You have to connect it to BCC in order to get some. Uh, pin number? One. Uh, okay, okay. Also, it's not supposed to loop. The timing diagrams are clear. You miss something or you forgot an LED or something. So you are uh, missing the LSB. So it seems to count in even numbers only because 